Hello everybody, Kyung here. So we're here with a Roxy's Weekly Challenge, week six, and we're doing um, cool like document holder things. And I've never made these and I thought they were super cool uh, when I saw her make them. So I would, thought I would make mine out of book pages, right? These are taken out of that botanical book page, that, bot that botanical book. And it has giant botanicals on it, like a giant picture of a flower, right? But then in between each of those are these like black and white ones. And so I thought we would just use those. And so I'm going to, I'm just going to start, right? So we'll fold a small little flap and then we'll fold another one here like this. And these are eight by 11. That's their um, size. So just fold them in threes, right? One, two, three. Well, and then the little one. I think so. I think that's right. I don't know. I think I did that wrong. Perhaps it's meant to be like this. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> she did one fold like this, right? And then she folded them up to the fold. That's right. That's right. Like this. Ta da! Okay. Ooh, see, look, here's a couple that have the big flowers on them. Aren't they pretty? Super pretty. Either way, we'll figure it out. We'll get it done. Right? They're just cool little trifolds that you stick documents in. Set to. This one we'll put like this. Ta-da! Oh, I love that. Isn't that pretty? Folded it a little bit there, but that's okay. Probably have putting them all in the bottom where the documents will be attached. But what can you do? That's okay. <laughs> I just now thought about that. Right, and she didn't measure hers either. She just did a bunch. Let's see, we'll do this one from this side, from the top. Instead of putting our little flap on the bottom, we'll do this one. Perhaps a little more narrow. Right, I think so. Okay, so there we go. We have all these folded, right? We've got one, two, three, four, five. We have five. I tell you, I am loving these Roxy Weekly Challenges. I'm getting so many pieces of ephemera. Okay, so the first thing is I have these, these like princess house ordering forms. I don't know. <laughs> I found them at the thrift store, but I think that those will be great. So there's one. And here's two, and here's like the carbon copy, right? We'll use that one. That's fine. We can put the carbon copy. And then, so we need five. So we'll, we'll leave this one out. Okay, and there's five of those. Just little ordering forms. Okay, so there's five of those. Let's open my big ephemera box. Bum, bum. Okay. So, ooh, look at these. I have these like, they're like prescription. They're like prescriptions. Aren't they great? They're great. I have a bunch of them. So we'll put some of those in. Some old photos, newspapers photos. Okay, we have these beautiful hotel like letterheads and we'll put some of those in. So well, that's one, two, one is large, some cards, a bunch of ephemera stuff, my Scotland postcards. Okay, here's this one. One, two, three, four, and then here's one more, 
five. Okay, awesome, cool vintage letterheads. Then where are all my, here they are. Look at all these prescriptions, aren't they amazing? These like vintage prescriptions for who knows. <laughs> Okay, so we'll grab five of those. One, two, three, four, five. All from Dr. Buttram. Dr. Buttram. Okay, so there's those. And we have our hotel letterheads. So I won't put any more of those in. More postcards and photos. Okay, let's see. What is this stuff? A cool envelope. What is this? These are cool. We'll put some of those. One, two. We'll put this one. Three. That's fine. Four, five. So there's another set of five. Cool ledger paper. That's cool. What are these? Round hot tube steel tubing. <laughs> These are kind of cool. That would give us four. That would give us four. These are cool. They're very long. Oh, look at this thing. That thing is cool. Oh, more shorthand stuff. Right, all oh, shorthand. I love the shorthand stuff. Wet paint. Okay. Let's see. We could, you know what? I have little Sears and Robux sheets. Those would work for sure. These are all kind of bigger. This is like German or something. Ooh. Okay. Well, we'll grab. Some of these, let me, okay, so those, let's see, what else do we have, a ticket thingy, let's see, here's my, this is like railroad stuff, let's grab five of these, one, two, Three, four, five. Is that five really? Okay. And then, let's see, what else do we have in here? Oh, look at these little tiny dictionary pages. Okay, these will go in. One, two, three. Four, five, darling dictionary pages. I might have grabbed six, but we'll see. Really cool, like German hymn pages. Those are cool. Okay. More like railroad ephemera stuff. Order of railway conductors and brakemen. How cool are these? These are cool. Let's see, what is this? These are cool. I don't know. You know, I don't want to put all my ephemera. <laughs> Special notice. Oh, look at this. Oh, I'm going to pull this out. This. Oh, these are, this is cool. Okay. I have a project that can go in the magic journal for sure. Two of these pink receipts, or three, three. Let's see, what else do we have? Oh, looks like we have a few of these. 
One, two, three, four. They look like copies and we have five of them. How awesome is that? Okay, that's good enough out of the like actual, my vintage ephemera box. Let me grab those small Sears and Roebuck sheets. Hmm, can you believe it? I can't seem to find it anywhere. But anyway, I have this work basket this cool work basket from 1966 and we can put a couple of pages in um, from the not that one but a couple of pages wild game cuisine women who make sense <laughs> let's see stretch slippers like crochet stuff okay Dumplings, John F. Kennedy coin set. I bet that's worth a lot of money now if you got one of those. Okay, like back in 1966. Okay, so we have those um, because I didn't find my Sears, my little Sears catalog. It's somewhere. Let's put some of these in there, huh? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then I'm thinking maybe some book pages out of my vintage King Arthur book, huh? Perhaps the Sir Lancelot area section. Love the Sir Lancelot section. I don't know how many, I don't want to like take the illustrations two, three. Well, there's three pages. Let's just cut these out. My microphone broke, so I got a new one. Okay, there's three. I mean, we could put some illustrations in there. I mean, that might be cool. Right, four, five. Okay, let's see how that does. Or if we need to find some more stuff to put in here. Okay, so let's see. Let's go from bigger to smaller, shall we? So these are probably our biggest. Right, our nickel plate ro railroad stuff. Right, they're very long. I would love to put them in there. Okay, so here's one, two, two, three, four, five. Okay, shall we do them one at a time? I just don't know, you know? I'm thinking maybe not. Maybe we'll do them all at a time. So let's put, th these are kind of our next biggest thing. One of those. Okay, we'll kind of put them all in the middle. If I remember. Okay, so there's that one. Let's try and get all of our stacks. Here's the application. All right, there's that one. Let's see. I think our letterheads might come next. So we'll put one of those on each. Right, on each of our stacks. Okay, like that. 
Let's see, what else do we have? We have these, or we have all this kind of miscellaneous stuff. We have, these are smaller. These can go, we'll put these on. Shall we show the illustration to be fancy? That one. And the next three are just um, plain text. Then this one. Okay, awesome. What do we have now? Oh, we have these. Okay, let's put our random stuff. Okay, let's put this railroad stuff. These, these tickets. So that one, that one, all right, we're going <laughs> to, we're going to get this, we're going to get it, okay, we have our miscellaneous stuff, our little this can go over here. Let's see. Let's put these on here. I should have... Oh, that's right. I only have four of these. Alright, so one will be without it. Without... Um, this carbon steel tubing. Actually, you know what? I think I have something that we can substitute. That actually Miss Paint a lot sent me, geez, I think over a year ago when I was doing my train journal. She sent me some train ephemera and then she also sent me some um just some really cool like book pages, like vintage book pages, and I still have some. Let me grab one. Look at that. Don't those go perfect? The bolts and nuts and stuff. Oh, it's they're, they're perfect. So I think we'll just use one of these. That's perfect. Door springs. <laughs> All right. Door springs. Let's see. Okay, let's see. We have these. This is kind of, I think I'll put this behind the letterhead like that. All right, because this is like our miscellaneous stuff. This is stuff we didn't have for each of. Not worried about any papers that might get, um, that are a little bended or whatever, because that'll be fine. Let's see, where should we put this one? Perhaps in front of the letterhead on that one. Let's see. These, I think I'll also stick in front of the letterhead. in front of the letterhead. Okay, there we go. So, oh my goodness, it's exciting. We have our stacks coming together. All right, so the next thing I have are, oh, I have these, right? These are these um, from that basket uh, magazine. Right, and then I think I'll be able, I think I'm going to save my, the German book pages. I'll save those. I love the idea of doing, doing these. I might use one of them because it looks like I only pulled, well, hold on, I'll double check. Yep, looks like I only pulled 
um, four of these. So I'll use one of the German book pages. Four instead. Okay, and then we have these. We have these, which are awesome. All right, then I'll clip them all and uh, oh, we'll put our um, our like pharmacy things and then we'll connect them all and we'll be good. <laughs> I don't know what time we're at. What, what time are we at? I have no idea. It's going to be what it's going to be. Okay. Looks like I pulled six of these. All right. And then we have our dictionary pages and our... and our pharmacy um, receipt things, prescriptions. Dig. Dis. Dis dog. <laughs> we'll straighten them up as we put Put them all in and everything. It'll all be good. Imp. And another dis. Okay. So there we have our stacks. I'm very excited. Okay. We have, this is a little extra one. All right. So let me see. Let's see what what is the story? What is the deal? How are we doing this? Here's our first stack. Let's kind of just get everything in the middle a little bit. Let's grab our clips and we'll clip it. Okay, now stay like that. That's wonderful. Okay, so let me see. Let me see. What are we going to do with this? They don't fit in, huh? We can fold it. Okay, let's just fold it. Like that, and that'll go. It'll just fit under there like that. That will be just fine. Now it should theoretically fit within the width of our thing. We got to put holes in the, uh, in our, should we measure them? I don't know. Should I try to eyeball it? Let's try to eyeball it, shall we? What do we think? Like right here? And like right here? Ah, that's good enough. Right, and then let's see, these go in. Oh, that's right. I'm so you're supposed to put them in like this, and then you punch your holes. Now I remember. Okay, and then you punch your holes. That's okay. We'll re-punch our holes. I'll clip this here like this. Okay, okay we'll, get, we'll get it. We'll get it. Ta-da! And then we can use fancy brads. I don't know how fancy my brads are. Oh, we have these fancy ones that Michelle Fenske gave us. Look at the, Aren't these cool? Look at these. These are awesome. I love them. We'll put those in. Put those in through this side. I have this cool nail polish I'm wearing. It changes color. Ooh, it changes to purple when it's cold. 
and it's like this pretty blue when it's um, when it's warm. <laughs> okay, so there we go. There is one. Let's make sure it fits in our. Right, so how are we going to do this? Do we fold it like this? Right, so that they're all folded together. Yes, I think so. And then come in and fold it like that. Right. And then you fold it again. Oh, this is fancy. And then you like use a ribbon or something, right? And you tie it. Let's do it. Let's do it so that we have at least one done before the, before the end of the video. Okay, what should we use to tie it? I'm thinking I have this sari silk. Isn't it gorgeous? And I can just rip a small thin strip of this. I need to prepare a bunch because I have a lot. I need to prepare a bunch and list some because I'm never going to use, I'm never going to use all that I have, you know. I just never will. It's just not, not a thing. Okay, look at that. How lovely. And then we can tie it like this with beautiful beautiful sari silk. Right? Ta-da! Like this. Then we can decorate it if we want. So I'm thinking I'm going to leave this as the back. Um, I can go in and color the flowers and stuff. So I'm thinking I'll decorate the front like this front, right? I could have inked it, but you know, should we use our deer? Because I've been wanting to put the deer. It still doesn't go, does it? <laughs> what about the bird? Mr. Bird, he kind of goes. Let's put the bird on there. We'll put the bird on there, Mr. Bird. All right, we'll get Mr. Bird on here. Mr. Bird, and what else? Let's see, what do we have? What do we have? Perhaps a stamp or something? A clock. Well, these are cute. That's cute. I like that. We also have these like stickers, right? These are like your creative studio stickers. Let's put one of those on and then one of that and then, well, one of that and then that. <laughs> this is just a washi sticker. Super cute. And then we'll put this on. I think I'll ink it just slightly. Ta-da! Oh, I love. Super cute. Yay, I love it. It's very pretty. Okay, so there's that one is done. Let's see our next one. So really the only difficult thing about this whole project is the putting the papers together, right? Deciding what papers you're going to use, putting them together, all that stuff. Okay, 
So we're going to stick these in like this first, right? And then we'll clip it. So can go like that and then this can get folded. This is going to need to be folded along the side. Oh, it doesn't like it. It doesn't like it. It's old vintage paper. It was not happy. It yelled at me. It yelled at me. Okay, let's put our holes in. Let's put our, we could, let's tie this one closed. Oh, I should have put my clip on. Let's put our clip on. <laughs> I should have also marked it. Ta-da, okay, we'll tie this one using pretty ribbon. There's this pink ribbon. This will work. Let's cut it. Like that so I can stick it through the hole. So, so I hope this mic works well. All right. I suppose it doesn't really match the flowers, does it? We should have used like a green or a red. I suppose I can go in and replace it later. Not right now. Pretty pink ribbon. All right. So... And get folded like this and then like that. Maybe I put too many documents in them. <laughs> oh, okay. And then like that. Oh goodness, how pretty. I do think I'm going to replace that pink. I love the pink, but it doesn't match the red, right? Could you just do like she did and use just some twine? Just use a little bit of twine. All right. I think this will be better. <laughs> I cut it pretty short. I could just tie it in a knot. Just tie it in a knot. Instead I'll tie it in a bow. How does that do? It's a little loose. But I think it's fine. It's just to hold this in place like this. Ta-da! I love. So, and then how do I want to keep this one closed? Right, I could tie, put a tie. But this one has a tie. So maybe like a paper clip. Perhaps a smaller, kind of the bigger one. Put a paper clip like that. Look at that. That works great. Cool. So we'll have this one be paper clipped. So I have one, two, right? I have no idea how we are in time. Let's do another one really quick. <laughs> These are super fun. Okay. 
Let's grab these. Kind of try to center my papers. Okay, this one's going to need to be folded. I already know. Try to just be gentle with it. It still is unhappy with me. It's like, no, it really doesn't want to fold. It is what it is. It's going to fold. It has to fold. <laughs> you have to fold paper. I'm sorry. No, it's so terrible. Okay. Stick this one in there like that and just poke our holes. Let's put our clip before we forget and I'll mark them right here like this. And I don't care if it's super center, but I don't want one like down here and then the other hole all the way up here. <laughs> I feel like that would be really ridiculous. All right, there we go. And how are we going to do these? Shall we do brads again? I suppose I don't need those giant holes when doing brads. You know what? Let's put some eyelets in for this one. Let's do eyelets. That's what I say. Why not? Well, maybe it's too thick. Maybe it won't go. Maybe it's not a good idea. It's a bad idea. <laughs> well, you never know till you try. Let's try it. I say I would rather try and fail than never try and not know. I think that works great. You just have to be mindful, right? depending on how thick your, thick your stack of paper is. Okay. All right, squeeze very hard. Ooh, yay, and then we could do whatever we want, right? We could, you could do whatever you wanted with that. I'm gonna leave it blank right now because I think it's cool. with just holes. I'll decide maybe ribbon or something. Let's see. This needs folded up like this. This one feels thicker than the other two. Probably not, but so there's this one. Yay! It's excellent, excellent. Let's see. I have this stuff. We have this. This is cool. This would work. Would it? <laughs> It's like this melted end. All right, and we'll tie this one just in a simple knot. Because I think that will be cute. And we'll paper clip this one too. Ta-da! I might tie this one. There it is. That's a little better. Okay. Anyway, there they are. Three. I have two more to do. Should we just do them? Should we just do them real quick? Let's just do them. 
All right, so. This one. Well, this paper is thinner and is happier being folded. Look at that. Maybe it's just less damaged. I don't know. Let's grab these. Okay. That looks good. Now it goes in like this. Clip it and poke our holes. And we'll do brads on this one. They don't, it, let me mark it. It doesn't need to be, don't need to like punch giant holes. Why do you need to punch little holes? Ta-da, like that, little holes. Okay, where did my brads go? Oh, <laughs> they're right here. Okay, let's see. We have these ones. These are like vintage ones that came out of that um, that railroad one. Let's use those because those are really cool. Right, look at those. That's so cool. Okay, and then this one. Um, so here's our fourth one. All right. I think I did put too many papers, but what can you do? You gotta have lots. Lots of documents in here. Oh, this is the one that I folded too far up. I'll try and get it. That's as good as it's going to get. That's good. Okay, let's tie it with a piece of lace. Very pretty. Right, and we'll keep the brads, the front piece. Yay, so pretty. I messed that up. I messed that bow up. Okay, we'll do this. Try this again. Oh, so cute. And I'll leave this, I'll leave this little thing hanging. We'll leave it hanging. As for decorating, you know, I don't know. Just add this up here like that. Color this flower in. Like that. Oh, we have a little butterfly. Let's put the little butterfly on there. See, ta-da, all. Oh. 
and then I'll color in that flower at some point. So there's four, and now we just need our last one, right? Our very last one. We can do this. All right. And then I will have five beautiful document holders I can put in journals, which is super exciting. So between the tags I'm making and following along on Miss, P Miss Paint-A-Lot's videos and the Roxy's Weekly Challenge videos, I'm going to have a ton of ephemera that I can play with and use. All right. Stick that in there like that. And again, I'll do small holes and we'll do those big brads again because I really liked those. These big ones that Michelle gave me. She said she didn't like them at all because they were too big, you know. She, when she ordered them, she said she thought she was ordering like the small ones. It's so hard to tell online, you know. I've ordered ones that I thought they were the big ones, and I got them, and they were so tiny, and I was like, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Fold this up like this. Okay, this one is folded here. Like that doesn't want to be folded right there like that, but look, it wants to bump up. It is what it is. All right, we're moving on. This one here. And shall we do a sorry silk again? Shall we do a sorry silk? I think so. This time I have this really pretty green isn't that just stunning? It's gorgeous, like mint color. So we'll use this. Well, it's only long enough to tie around once, but that's absolutely fine. All right, we'll just tie this in a little bow. <laughs> it's so cute. All right, decorating it. What are we going to do with this one? Oh, it's kind of pretty. It's got that blue border, though. don't know why they do that. Put, like colored borders on things. I kind of like this. Is it too big? It is too big. And this one, the flower. I like the flower. Okay, let's put the flower on there and maybe we'll put a butterfly. We'll just go simple, right? Just a flower and a butterfly. Just glue this flower on here. And a butterfly. Let's see. Butterflies. Where are you? Okay. What do we have? We have this one. We have this pretty red one. Let's put this pretty red one. It kind of matches. It's a little redder than the flower. I don't know. Now maybe I'm second guessing. You second guess things, you know? I'm allowed to do that. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. There's this one. I like this one. The orange and the blue one. It's a sticker one that I cut out. I fussy cut out of that the, the sticker butterfly and bees sticker book. 
put little antennae on him. Look at how pretty. Ta-da! There's our fifth one. So there is our Roxy's Weekly Challenge. I don't know how far over we went, but that's okay. We have this one. Right? These are our two that we didn't put anything on. Right? We didn't decorate them. But I love them. They're also the ones that are just our plain flowers. So, but yay, there they are, our five document holders. I love them. So much fun. Anyway, I will see you very soon. I will talk to you later. Have a good day, guys. Bye.